Welcome everyone to the Dog Pound. I am M Dog. We are here today again at the uh, beautiful Bridgeville Rifle and Pistol Club. Beautiful shooting range here in, in uh, Bridgeville, Delaware. Our home away from home. Um, ones that are ever so gracious to allow us to be here and use this facility. Uh, we're proud members of it and we enjoy every minute of it. Well, we got another special trial. We said you probably got tired of hearing me saying it, but we got a really special treat this time. We have uh, the Raging Hunter by Taurus. Uh, and this thing is a beast. Um, we have been lucky enough, or maybe it's unlucky enough, to get our hands on this Raging Hunter that is chambered in 460 Smith & Wesson. Uh, it will also fire 454 Casul. Uh, and 45 Colt. We do not have any 454 Casul today, uh, but we do have 45 Colt, which I think you saw a little bit earlier when we were shooting the judge. Uh, so we do have 45 Colt with us, which we'll run through this thing, uh, which will be a, probably a welcome relief uh, when we're done firing these giant freedom seeds downrange at the ever elusive splatter dudes that are trying to escape. Uh, Say somebody else is trying to beat us to it. Anyway, uh, them splatter dude targets have met their match today. That's a promise. So, let me show you, first of all, this, I don't know what you would call it. This thing is a beast. That's about all you can call it. And you can see the weapon's safe. Uh, but it's a two-tone, and uh, it's, it's just a massive hunk of metal. Uh, and it's beautiful. So, this gun was also voted uh, in 2019, I believe it was. 2019, it was voted the American Hunter Handgun of the Year and also received a Golden Bullseye Award for the innovative design, reliability, and value. A little bit of, I won't charge you nothing for that information. Uh, the MSRP is right around $1,100. That is a suggested retail. So they're not cheap. Uh, it depends on how how uh, how much you want one, how much you want to punish yourself. <laughs> uh, it is a five-shot revolver. It's available in either a two-tone or a matte black finish. Uh, it has an angular barrel design, which cuts down on the overall weight. Uh, the factory-tuned porting and the gas, uh, the gas expansion chamber. It reduces muzzle lift and the recoil for quicker target acquisition. And you can see the uh, ported barrel there. And this is like a, a shroud that goes, a, I don't know what you can see, but it's uh, it's really neat. Uh, it's got the very nice built on uh, accessory rail for putting scopes, red dots, whatever you want to put on there. Uh, it's got a, oh, the, the, see, I think the overall weight is right around i think it's 57 i think it's 57 ounces so it's a hunky a hunky uh, piece of metal um cushioned insert grips uh, these here help the recoil i've never shot it i'm going by stats so i'm going to tell you in my opinion after i shoot it um uh, but it's uh it's supposed to make it more manageable and comfortable on the shooter uh it's got a fixed front sight and you can see, looking right here, I mean, that, it's a, just a fixed front sight. Uh, the rear sight is adjustable. It's got your elevation and your windage. Okay, and then, then the, um, it can be fired in double or single action. So it's very much, this, that system is kind of like the judge, similar with a double and single action, the way that's set up. So it's a uh, five shot cylinder. Uh, it's got a, this is pretty cool. It's got a double lock system. So when your chamber is closed, most of your revolvers, your standard revolvers, got your little thumb release here, which drops your cylinder. These actually have a double lock. And I'm assuming it's probably for the added punishment that this thing goes through and the, the energy and stuff that it puts out when, you know, fired in big rounds off helps keeps it locked down. But it's actually very nice and it locks in really tight. Uh, so it's nice and secure. And it gives you that sense of security feeling in your hand. The... Um, uh, let's see your barrel it's about it's 8.37 inches overall length of the gun is 15 inches and the overall weight is 57 ounces that's unloaded 
you know, your 460 uh, ammunition adds a little bit of weight to it. So your frame is stainless steel, cylinder is alloy steel with a matte black oxide finish. Your barrel is stainless steel with a black anodized shroud. So this thing is going to be fun. And we've been looking forward to this and we've been waiting for one of these one of these big monsters to come in for quite a while. Uh, a lot of people will arguably say this is the going most powerful handgun in the world. We do know that the 500's out there, uh, but looking at the testing, um, you know, the energy, your velocity, you know, the 460's pretty hard to beat. And uh, they, they say, you know, it's got a lot, of, a lot of potential there to be the most powerful handgun in the world. Now, anytime you're shooting this and your daggone ammo has got a picture of a water buffalo on the front of it and a handgun cartridge, you can imagine what's coming next, the bang. So these here are buffalo bore, and it says right on the box, strictly business. So unless you're meaning business, you leave these alone, okay? So... These uh these here are 360 grain hard cast. Uh 1900 feet per second with 2860 foot pounds. So this thing is not playing around and it is strictly business. Now with that being said, I want to thank our good friends who hooked us up with this monster, Charlie and Austin over at Steel's Gun Shop, always helping us out here at the Dog Pound. Um uh, Glad to finally get this thing and be able to actually test it and then show you guys what what we think of it because we're just normal people, not experts. Um, if you're in need of a new handgun, any gun, a collector's firearm, uh, please give them a call. Check them out on Facebook. They're on Facebook under Steel's Gun Shop. And um, for all you collectors out there that have an interest in the wild, wild west, let me tell you something. At Steele's Gun Shop, they have the rifle that belonged to Emmett Dalton. And for all you Western nuts out there like me, Western buffs, uh, Emmett was the only survivor of the famous Dalton gang and brother of Bob Dalton. So how's that history for you? There's a ton of history in their shop and even, even a rifle from the Battle of Little Bighorn. Uh, you know, from, from Custer, uh, all, you know, it's, it, they're in the shop. <laughs> Pretty cool. So those rifles, if you're interested, you can purchase them, uh, give them a call. Um, you know, have your pocketbook and your bank account ready. Cause it ain't going to be cheap. You can imagine uh, those rifles have all been authenticated and, and they've got all the paperwork and everything about them that proves the history of those rifles. So Charlie and them boys are on their game. Um, Anyway, if you give them a call at the, end of the, at the end of the video, when we run the credits, you'll actually see their phone number. Again, you can find them on Facebook or give them a call on that phone number. Tell them M-Dog and the boys at the Dog Pound sent you. And, and I'm sorry, the boys and girls, because I can't forget about Tammy since I stole her Tupperware lids. She, she, um, I got to try to save face there a little bit. So tell them M-Dog, Tammy, Bubba, Viper, and who, the rest of us here at the Dog Pound sent you. With that being said, the time has come. It is time to go make some serious noise, louder than that one. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna get strictly business. So let's go get some strictly business. Now, keep in mind, these things are almost $3 a bullet, so it's not cheap. Uh, we're going to fire five, then I'm going to put Bubba, my boy Bubba, he's going to come over here and fire five, and then we're going to put these uh, 460s to bed for a little while until I can get some more of this ammo, and then we're going to put some 45 Colt through it. But we want to run the hottest thing through it first, get it out of the way, and let you guys know 
let you guys see us if we survive or not. I know I'm being dramatic, but this ought to be fun. So here we go. A double lock system. Having trouble loading, I'm shaky. The nerves are shot. It's not that bad. Look at that. What a beast. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not. Woo. Look, we got that one spider dude. That one spider dude has evaded. Can I pretend I'm Dirty Harry or some kind of cool dude or... No, I don't think so. Ha. All right, here we go. 460. Talk to me, daddy. Shooting a little to the left here. Of course, maybe it's because I got a fractured elbow or something. <laughs> see if I can hit that top lid. We'll see what happens. That's some, that's strictly business. That box of bullets ain't lying. Take your time and just breathe. And get a good stance. <laughs> Is that all five? Yep. What do you think, Bubba? <laughs> That's a mean bug. <laughs> Are you afraid of it? No, but I don't want to do it. I can't make you do it. No shit. Oh, just do it. one. Are you recording me? Are you, are you going to be all right? You're about to get beat down, too. Come on. Uh oh, the military is coming in for us. They're gonna fire hand cannons. If we're good, you, you want me to do this? So are you? You gonna not lock down? Okay. Be all right. Okay. 
You got to be out of the lock. Don't do this, because... Gotcha. When you are, babe. Now if I squeal, get ready. <laughs> 460. God, you did it! I don't know what I did. <laughs> Never again with this one. <laughs> you did it. What did I hit? I don't know. I was watching you. <laughs> I could care less about the target. <laughs> Four sixty Smith and Wesson, and my wife, the one I stole the Tupperware bowls from, or the Tupperware bowl lids from, she just shot that. Uh, she's dangerous. Now I'm a little nervous. So I'm going to give that to her as a souvenir because she earned that one. Right now we're going to load up some 45 Colt. Fire through this, which will be a, a nice pleasant change from the 460. 460 is a great hunting round. I wouldn't want to stand out here and target shoot with it all day long. Um, five shots was about where I wanted to be before I took a break. So it ain't no joke. All right, let's shoot these five here. I'm gonna shoot five more of these 45 Colts and I'm gonna put Tammy back on this hand cannon and let her shoot some 45 Colt. Cause it's nothing, the recoil is nothing now. With What a beauty. As you can see, bringing them back up, I mean, and the significant difference in the hole. So a couple of these pierced each other. So it, it's a great, it's an accurate gun. The ones that got pulled were their user error. I mean, so that being said, we're gonna put Tammy behind the, the cannon. So stay tuned.
Very nice. What do you think? <laughs> you convinced me to do something I really didn't want to do today, but okay. This was definitely better than the last. Big difference, huh? Yeah. Big, big difference. All right. You survived, right? Clearly. <laughs> yeah. Barely. But yeah. We're good. Am I good? Are we good with the Tupperware bowl lids? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. I love you. Love you. <laughs> well, we survived. The Raging Hunter has successfully completed its mission of splattering that last splatter dude. Took care of the judge's dirty work. Cleaned up the mess that we had left. And he was not able to evade prosecution. Judge ordered it. We executed. Done deal. Raging Hunter is no joke. The 460 Smith & Wesson is absolutely no joke. The um you I mean you saw that it, it's got it's got a it's got a nice hefty recoil. Uh it's not something that I'd like I said I'd want to sit here and target shoot with all day long. Uh I know Tammy she wouldn't want to do it either and neither would Bubba. So it's not about somebody's pride or ego about being able to handle it. It's a it's a manly round. I mean she's got a she's got a bite. Um what I do like about it is the fact that the Raging Hunter has that cushion. I'm trying to get these empty brass here. These are the 45 Colts we were shooting out. The uh, has a, a nice cushion handle, and it, you actually feel when that when that round kicks off and that shock, and that shock comes back. And I'm sure I'll I'll probably go back and hit a couple slow mos. Uh, on on the actual firing of this thing uh, with the 460s, and you'll be able to see um, the the shock value that comes back in the felt recoil. It's a hefty one, um, but as we showed, uh, must be a splatter dude trying to get away again. Either way, uh, as we showed out there, they are, you know, a, a smaller frame female. Uh, a smaller frame male can handle this gun. Like I said, it's just not something you want to play with all day long. The 45 Colts, on the other hand, night and day. You can sit out here with this. I mean, this thing is is a. It's like holding a brick. So it's um, you don't feel the recoil hardly at all on a 45 Colt. So that's very nice. We did not have the opportunity to fire 454 Casul. Uh, we will eventually. Uh, get a hold of some 454s and we'll bring her back out and um, we'll compare the 460 against the 454. So that'll be another video at another time. By then our our uh, our joints will probably be healed up after taking some uh, stock out in Bengay. No, I just, just joking, being dramatic. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. This video, I promise you nobody was hurt and injured except for the splatter dudes. And the Raging Hunter is a, is, a, is a raging machine. And like the box of bullets says, it's strictly business. Uh, please, if you get a chance, subscribe to the channel. Like our videos. Share our videos with your friends. Uh, check out our Facebook page. Follow us on Facebook. The Facebook page is uh, the Dog Pound with M-Dog. Uh, if you go on there, like the page, follow the page. Uh, we do post videos there. We also post previews of future videos there. And it would take you directly to the YouTube channel. Uh, that way you guys don't miss out when we post these new reviews and uh, do crazy things that we hope you guys will enjoy. Uh, also, please um, reach out to uh, Steel's Gun Shop. Let them know you saw the Raging Hunter uh, here on the, M -Dog, uh, the Dog Pound video. And we highly recommend steels. If you're if you're a history buff, as I said earlier, uh, there's some cool things there, man. Call them up, tell them we sent you, and they will hook you up. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Reach out to your local representatives. Stand up for your Second Amendment rights. Without the Second Amendment, we have no First Amendment. Keep that in mind. You have to fight for your rights. We also thank Bridgeville Rifle and Pistol Club for always allowing us to be here and do our thing. 
Um, with that being said, man, please enjoy your time that you have here with each other. Make it memorable. Get out to the range. Take your wife. Spend time on the range with your spouse. I do. If not, she'd probably kill me. Uh, but I better not document that much further because it could be used as uh, incriminating or something. So uh, let's just say that either way, get them involved. If they're involved, happy wife, happy life. So we will see you guys soon. God bless you straight.